Mass for You at Home is proudly supported by Catholic Mission. To learn how a gift in your will can leave a legacy of eternal hope and a lasting impact for generations to come, call 1-800-257-296 or visit catholicmission.org.au slash wills. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to the Father and to one another. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You heal the wounds of our sin and division. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us with the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. The king's leading men spoke to the king. Let Jeremiah be put to death. He is unquestionably disheartening. The remaining soldiers in the city, and all the people too, by talking like this. The fellow does not have the welfare of this people at heart so much as its ruin. He is in your hands as you know. King Zedekiah answered, For the king is powerless against you. So they took Jeremiah and threw him into the well of Prince Malchiah in the court of the guard, letting him down with ropes. There was no water in the well, only mud, and into the mud Jeremiah sank. ebed Melik came out from the palace and spoke to the king. My lord king, he said, these men have done a wicked thing by treating the prophet Jeremiah like this. They have thrown him into the well where he will die. At this, the king gave ebed Melik the Cushite, the following order. Take three men with you from here and pull the prophet Jeremiah out of the well before he dies. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, come to my aid. 
I waited for the Lord And God stooped down to me God heard my cry Lord, come to my aid God put a new song into our hearts Praise of our God Many shall see And many shall fear And shall trust in the Lord Lord, come to my aid As for me, wretched and poor The Lord thinks of me my help oh god do not delay lord come to my aid a reading from the letter to the hebrews with so many witnesses in a great cloud on every side of us we too then should throw off everything that hinders us especially the sin that clings so easily, and keep running steadily in the race we have started. Let us not lose sight of Jesus, who leads us in our faith and brings it to perfection. For the sake of the joy which was still in the future, he endured the cross, disregarding the shamefulness of it, and from now on has taken his place at the right of God's throne. Think of the way he stood such opposition from sinners, and then you will not give up for want of courage. In the fight against sin, you have not yet had to keep fighting to the point of death. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. My sheep listen to my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to bring fire to the earth, and how I wish it were blazing already. There is a baptism I must still receive, and how great is my distress till it is over. Do you suppose that I am here to bring peace on earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. For from now on a household of five will be divided, three against two and two against three. The father divided against the son, son against father, mother against daughter, daughter against mother, mother mother-in-law against daughter-in-law, daughter-in-law against mother-in-law. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The word of God this Sunday is not that pleasant to hear. It makes us feel uncomfortable. It makes us realize that we may be God-fearing people, do the right thing, and still experience suffering, injustice, division, and discord. Prophet Jeremiah was flogged, imprisoned, and then thrown into a muddy well because he warned King Zedekiah against holding out against the Babylonians. The men who loved his people and obediently delivered God's message was rejected and severely punished. Similarly, 
Jesus went about doing good, and yet he stood opposition from sinners and endured the cross, as Paul reminds us. Do you suppose that I am here to bring peace on earth? No. Oftentimes, we assume that with God on our side, life will be peaceful, easy, and trouble-free. Intentionally or unintentionally, we do trade with the Almighty. I come to Mass on Sunday, and you give me your blessing. I fast on Friday, you give me and my family good health. I hang the rosary beads on the mirror in my car. You grant me a safe drive, and so forth. So many people are upset with God, have given up faith, have decided not to believe in God anymore because he hasn't fulfilled their expectations. Instead of living in undisturbed tranquility, we go through a divorce, suffer abuse at work or school, stress over our children's fatal mistakes, or endure a terrible back pain. In the recent movie under the same title, Father Stu has a serious motorcycle accident and is later diagnosed with a rare and incurable muscular disease. At some stage, he says, quoting Bruce Lee, I guess, we shouldn't pray for an easy life, but the strength to endure a difficult one. Do you suppose that I am here to bring peace on earth? No. Jesus is here not to create paradise on earth, to miraculously fix everything and everyone and let us live in blissful happiness every day. He did not have a smooth ride in life either. He endured the cross, remember? So what is he here for? He is here to baptize us with fire, to immerse us fully in God's love, and to guide us safely into the fullness of life which we call heaven. If we expect that from him, we won't be disappointed. We will be saved. And let us now profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us call on our Heavenly Father to come to our aid, for he is our saving help. For the Church that God's people will remain faithful and never lose heart. In your mercy. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those tormented by conflict and division, that they will persevere in their desire for peace and goodwill. In your mercy. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who have died, May they reach their final perfection in Christ. In your mercy. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our help, with our eyes fixed on Jesus, we desire to rid ourselves of every burden and sin that hides us from your presence. Hear our prayer and help us always to choose the path that Christ has won for us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, let your 
mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. The word of the Lord is faithfulness and love. This love can never be measured. God's beauty is like nothing we have ever seen. So let us place our trust in God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just that we should give you thanks and praise, O God Almighty Father, for all you do in this world through our Lord Jesus Christ. For though the human race is divided by dissension and discord, yet we know that by testing us you change our hearts to prepare them for reconciliation. Even more, by your Spirit you move human hearts that enemies may speak to each other again, adversaries join hands and peoples seek to meet together. By the working of your power it comes about, O Lord, that hatred is overcome by love, revenge gives way to forgiveness, and discord is changed to mutual respect. Therefore, as we give you ceaseless thanks with the choirs of heaven, we cry out to your majesty on earth, and without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the comes Lord. in the name of the Hosanna in the highest. You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that, converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, Celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. 
Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope and Brian our Bishop and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Let us now pray together as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conform to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Today's Mass is proudly sponsored by Guardian Funerals and Calvary Healthcare. Thank you for your generous support of Mass for You at Home. If you are in a position to contribute or contribute again, you can help secure the ongoing future of this vital ministry. May God continue to bless us all as we seek to follow Him.